All right, guys, so in this video, we're gonna be talking about sex limited traits. And what's important about a sex limited trait, the first thing I'm gonna tell you, it is not inherited on a sex chromosome. So we're not gonna look at it with the X and the Y, we're not gonna have hemizygous males, nothing like that. It's going to be inherited on an autosome, just like anything else. It could be on chromosome 12, for all we care. Um, what we're gonna see with stuff like this is we're gonna see it uh, a trait inherited like a normal autosome, but what's gonna happen is it's only gonna be expressed in one of the two sexes. So in this case, we're gonna look at, we could say something like a beard, right? So beards were, and goats, we're gonna say, um, are only expressed in males. And what that means is that, um, and bearded, the bearded allele is the dominant allele here. So you're gonna see um, big A, big A, the dominant allele is gonna be expressed. Here in males, we see it. Yes, we have a bearded male. But here in females, even though that female is big A, big A, you're gonna see that the female is not gonna show it. That's because this trait is limited just to males. So then we go down to our uh, heterozygote here. And again, because it's a dominant trait, our male is gonna show it. But our female here is not gonna show it again. And then when we go down here, just like any other trait, if it's a dominant trait and your homozygous is recessive, you're not gonna show it. That's why neither our male nor our female here are gonna have the trait. So we're gonna go through, um, talk about some beards on some goats, um, whether if, as if it was uh, inherited normally versus if it was inherited in a sex limited fashion like we see here. So what we're gonna answer here is what's the percentage of males that are gonna have this trait? Um, whether it's normal or sex limited. So first we're gonna do normal. And I'm gonna fill out my Punnett square just like normal here. And what we're gonna get, it, just like you guys would expect by now with a uh, heterozygote being crossed with a heterozygote, is it's a one to two to one. So what that means is we're gonna have, because it's a dominant allele, um, we're gonna have three to one, and that three is gonna be bearded and the one is non. And so what that tells us, if we're trying to answer the question, remember how, what percentage of the guys are gonna have it, um, have the beard. So in this case, um, we're gonna have uh, three bearded, and that's regardless of whether it's a male or female, right? Because this was normal inheritance. So if we do the same thing over here, so if this was a guy, this was a girl, it would, regardless, it would have a 75% chance of inheriting the beard because this trait is um, in, inherited in a normal fashion. If this trait were inherited in a sex limited fashion, our Punnett score would look the exact same. But what we're actually gonna see here is um, the same percentage of males, right? So males, it's gonna be three to one bearded versus non. But what are we gonna see in females? Because this trait is limited this time to males, what we're actually gonna see is that females, it's gonna be zero to four bearded versus non. So, you guys can see we drew our Punnett square the exact same way. We didn't worry about anything about sex chromosomes or anything like that because again, sex limited traits are on autosomes. They are not on um, your X and Y or your sex chromosomes. Um, so what we're gonna see is the males, if it's a trait that's limited to males, it's gonna be inherited completely normally. It doesn't always have the trait, right? If it's a dominant allele and it's a homozygous recessive um, animal or whatever, then it's still not gonna show the trait. So just because it's limited to males doesn't mean it's always in males. But our females here, this is where it's important. If our trait is limited to males, then we're not gonna have any females that are gonna show that trait. Um, and just to reiterate one more time, I know it can get confusing because you've got um, sex inherited traits, we've got sex limited traits, we've got um, other stuff like that. Um, and so we're gonna touch on all that stuff. So just make sure you study it enough to where you can keep it uh, separated inside your head. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in these videos will be true no matter what genetics class you are taking. However, the concepts in this video are referencing material from this specific textbook. Remember, if you are a currently enrolled Baylor student, we offer free tutoring on the first floor of Sid Rich. You may schedule a free 30-minute one-on-one tutoring session online or just drop in during normal business hours. For more information about our services, please visit our website, www.baylor.edu. Thank you.